YouTube modeling that back at you. This is the final reveal video of my 1992 Mercury Cougar XR7 lowrider kit from Ravel. So, as you can see, you got it all finished up, everything put together. And so, yeah, the final assembly went fairly smooth, wasn't too much in the way of issues or anything like that. So, uh, the only thing, uh, just for anybody who is going to be building this, kind of going into the engine bay for a minute, uh, with the radiator shroud, zoom in just a little bit, uh, it is a two-part radiator and shroud assembly. Uh, I would recommend uh, just installing the main radiator and then uh, putting in the upper shroud later, just primarily for the fact that um, it was designed to be put in in that order. I, you can get it in as one piece, uh, as I did. Uh, what I had to do was tip the motor down at a pretty sharp angle to get it to kind of line up. And even then, it was a really pretty nasty push fit uh, to kind of get it all in. But once it was in, as you can see, it lines up fairly well. Um, maybe is isn't as positioned as it could be, but uh, doesn't interfere with the hood and definitely looks the part. So... So yeah, other than that, the uh, engine portion of the build was fairly straightforward, wasn't too much really that I could say. Uh, didn't go crazy detailed with uh, plug wires and everything that I normally would do on an auto kit, so I just wanted to keep this one more of a shelf setter with the, the uh, two-tone engine. Just kind of as something different uh, that you would see from the bottom side or the top here. Um, again, just if somebody wanted to see what I had done on the engine bay and things like that. But uh, it is a good platform to start with, um, just kind of where everything is situated. And it gives you the ability to fairly easily, you know, heavily detail this kit uh, if you so choose. So uh, the one other thing, and I think it's probably my favorite part uh, about this kit, is the headlights. I absolutely love the way that those headlights came out on this kit. Um, they, to be honest, look pretty darn close to real, like, um, in a, in a way that I just didn't think I was able to do on this, so definitely happy about how those came out. Uh, when it comes to the interior, I've got that all detail painted. I used the original kit decal on the dashboard, uh, for the instrument cluster, and then all of the gauges in the center part portion of the console uh, that I did uh, detail paint just with either Posca pens or just with a brush um, just to give it that little extra bit of detail. So let me lower this down just a tiny bit. Um, so you can see a little bit better with the dash panel now. I do actually have like the uh, uh, red and blue painted. Let's see if I can brighten it up a bit uh, for like the temperature control and stuff like that. So yeah, again at this magnification, the uh, flocking doesn't look too great. However, uh, just to the natural naked eye, it actually looks really nice in there. Again, kept the front seats more of a leather. And everything like that. So, yeah, going back out to just kind of an overall, the uh, build itself is just a fun one. I uh, really didn't have, like I said, any major hurdles to uh, you know overcome anything like that. It was just a fairly straightforward build. On the underside, I do want to note that I did actually glue the chassis into place. I didn't leave that as a push fit like I was originally thinking, uh, primarily for the fact that the frame rails up here at the front, there was a pretty sizable gap, and I just wanted to get it locked in. Uh, so that was the only real change that I made there. Other than that, you can kind of see the two-tone effect that I went with uh, for the frame rails being that brighter gold, and then the greens there on the underside of the body itself so actually I love the way this thing came out um, if I was to do it over again and really heavily detail it obviously with this uh, first stage of uh, muffler system here 
filling in those you know, sink marks would definitely be something to do. But again, given that this is going to be more of just a display model for the shelf, uh, I'm not, I was not too worried about it. Uh, the other thing I went ahead and did was instead of using the original license plate uh, items for the front and the back, what I chose to do was just use really super thin, I think it's like 10 thousandths styrene, um, on, to basically put the uh, license plates onto. And that way it's a, you know, it's a little bit thicker than what it would be in real life, but it's a whole lot thinner than what it was from the kit. So, um, but yeah. So, again, overall, love the way that this kit actually turned out. Uh, it actually turned out a whole lot better than what I anticipated. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it, it definitely, like I said, smooth build. The decals for, you know, being 20 years old, uh, actually 20 years next year, they went down better than, honestly, some aftermarkets that I've had. Um, and so I was super happy at how they worked. Um, so overall, not too much I can say. Definitely, if you guys have, um, sorry, I definitely want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers that have come on board here over the last couple of weeks. Um, just say thank you guys for subscribing, and um, if you guys have any questions, comments, definitely post them down below. Usually try to answer them you know, as quickly as I can, uh, just so I don't leave you guys hanging. And then um, one just general question I wanted to ask everybody who does watch these videos. Um, do you guys like these build parts, or would you rather see just a completed model at the end, what I've done to complete it? Um, again, I don't mind putting these out, but again, if uh, you're not getting much value from the build parts, I can just uh, you know work at work at the bench and then just show you when I complete a kit, what I've done and how I've done it and things like that. So definitely post that in the comments below. I'll probably go ahead and add uh, one more video to this series, which is going to be a uh, real daylight shot of this because again under studio lights you can't really capture the true colors that this car gives off uh, especially with the uh, with the uh, reflective gold in the paintwork and things like that so uh, that'll be one more video in the series that'll come out uh, probably here in another day or so um, just need to wait until I have a nice sunny day um, to get it out and get it filmed so but again, if you guys have any, again, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, definitely post them down in the section below. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.